The last section of this project is an introduction to functions. We've already talked about math functions in this class, but a function in Google Sheets is just any sort of calculation you make it do beyond a standard operation. So like add, subtract, multiply, divide. Um, the main functions that we're going to deal with, we've got sum, which is adding up a whole bunch of numbers. We've got min, which is finding the smallest number. We've got max, which is finding the largest number. And average, which is finding the average number. So um, I'm going to actually start by expanding column A just so I can actually read what all of the things in that column are. And actually, if I double click, where it highlights over here, it should expand it so that I can read everything. First thing we want to do is find the total number of packages. So we'll select cell B12. And in there, we could do equals and then add all these together. So say B2 plus B3 plus B4 plus B5. That works, it just might take a little bit more time. Instead, we're going to use a function called sum. Sum means to add, so you're just going to type in sum. Um, a list of functions will come up, so you can click it there. You don't necessarily have to. And then once we've got sum with a parentheses, we're going to highlight the cells that we want to add together. So you'll just click on B2, drag down to B11, and then we'll let go, close our parentheses, press enter, and the sum of that range is 85. So there are 85 total packages. Next, we're going to find the lowest price per package. So we'll click on cell C13. We're going to type equals and we want the lowest price per package. So the function we're going to use is min, M-I-N, for minimum. Again, if you see it on the list, you can click it, but you don't have to. Once we get our parentheses in there, we'll select the range that we want to find the minimum in. So click on C2, drag down to C11, close your parentheses, press Enter. So our minimum or our lowest price per package is 235. Next thing we're going to do is use a function to find the total cost in cell D4. Well, total cost, our function there would be sum because that's adding stuff together. So in this cell D14, I'll say equals sum parentheses. Select the cells I want to add together, close parentheses, press enter. So it'll be $319.49 to buy all this food. Then we want to find our largest cost item, so the item that we end up spending the most money on. The function we're going to do that with is max, max for maximum. So equals equals max parentheses we want to find the maximum inside of this range close our parentheses press enter next we need the average price per package the function for average is literally just the word average so we're going to say equals Average, um, I'm going to click it so I don't have to type out the whole word. Select this range, close our parentheses, press enter. So the average price per package is $4.08. And then the last thing we want to find is the number of items. Uh, this one is going to be a bit more challenging. You're going to have to have kind of a long formula here, but you'll notice we've got our packages listed in this column, 
And then we have the number of items in each package listed over here. So I'm going to say equals. Um, it looks like for these first couple things, hot dogs, hamburgers, hot dog rolls, and hamburger rolls, all of them have eight per package. So I can find the sum of hot dogs, hamburgers, hot dog rolls, hamburger rolls, and multiply that by eight, because each of those have eight per package. So we know we've got at least 384. Uh, and then to that, I'm going to add, looks like pretzels are the only thing that have six per package. So we'll say this cell times six. And then I'm going to add, um, regular soda and diet soda both come as 12 per package. So we'll find the sum of both types of soda. So this cell and this cell. We'll multiply that by 12. And then we're going to add. Um, water bottles have 24 per package, so number of water bottles times 24. Plus cheese has 32 per package, so this number times 32. And paper plates have 150 per package. So this number times 150. So we got 1,130 individual things for our food stand.